And uh, this week's ins and outs is going to feature Whitney Barnes. Uh, she actually turned heads a little while ago for her YouTube That's uploads. Right. That's right. She was on our Hot Click segment that we just uh, saw. And mm -hmm. I remember her saying uh, she had issues with shorter men whose uh, umbrellas, umbrellas right? exactly <laughs> poke her in the face. Yeah, because when you're in the big city and you're walking around in the rain with umbrellas, sometimes these umbrella edges, they can become a health hazard, That's right. right? I remember her All saying right. that. Now we have more news about Whitney Barnes uh, and Mina Cha, actually. Cha Mina joins us today for this. Good morning, Mina. Good How morning. are you? Good morning. morning. Happy Monday to you all. That's right. We're going to be joined by Whitney Barnes again. She's a young lady from the U.S. and there's something on her bucket list that she has yet to fulfill. She she has a strong interest in taekwondo dancing. So oh, we are going to be dancing. following her today on her journey and achieving this dream of hers, this wish of hers. So uh, let's take a look at this in this report. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm from the United States, but I've lived in Korea for three years. And the thing that I really, really want to try is taekwondo dance. It just seems so cool. I really, really want to try it. So please, choose me to do the taekwondo dance. Please, please, please. <laughs> All right, you got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we say no to that? We caught up with Whitney practicing her favorite hobby at a dance studio in Gangnam. She's really good. Oh, the pop and lock right there. Mm -hmm. And then pose at the end, top it off. It's like the cherry on top. Her curiosity for Korean culture started back in university when she began making Korean friends. Ah, okay. While working for a conglomerate here, she began to create content that talks about Korean culture. Basically, cute guys. She tried her hand at Taekwondo five years ago on a trip to Korea. Whitney had fond memories of her experience, but her interest was piqued once again after watching a Taekwondo dance match to a K pop song. Oh my god. Wow. To learn more about Taekwondo dancing, Whitney found the Korean Tigers in Goyang, Gyeonggi-do province. That's right, the Korean Tigers. They're a pretty well known group. Mm. Wow. Whitney nervously walks oh. into the studio. Oh my gosh. Whitney watches with amusement as the younger members practice with passion. Isn't this after school thing? I love this song. I really want to learn this. <laughs> and it already looks like she's having a good time. Taekwondo dancing became popular after a video choreographed to Ringa Linga by Taeyang from Big Bang was submitted as part of a dance cover event. <laughs> Complete Perfect. with the taekwondo walk. Okay. The basics is the foundation for anything. Whitney is building up a sweat learning the basics of taekwondo, but it doesn't look easy to perform with such precision. Taekwondo dance is a form of gymnastics with taekwondo as the base and a melange of acrobatics and break dancing, making it easier for children and young adults to enjoy taekwondo. Oh my gosh, it looks cool. The members show off flashy yet disciplined moves, which left Whitney speechless. You could give me three months to learn that. I'll never learn that. Three years. 30 years, I still wouldn't be able to do it. Okay. 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 Whitney finally tries her hand at learning Taekwondo dance. She uses the basic moves to slowly learn, but it doesn't look easy with all the intricate moves. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Although she looks a little out of place for now, Whitney does her best to keep up. And after four straight hours of practice, Whitney seems to really be enjoying Taekwondo dancing. <laughs> uh, at first it was really hard, but 
The more I did it, it wasn't so bad, and I think I can actually do it with the group. Whitney spent half the day learning Taekwondo dance, so why don't we take a look at her progress? Fierce eyes and precise moves leaves no question that they are all part of the squad. Whitney, meanwhile, finishes the day perfecting her taekwondo dance and looking good while doing it. My heart is beating. I'm tired. When I first learned just taekwondo, it seemed a little bit serious. Although it was fun, it was just like very serious, like one, two, very disciplined, but Taekwondo dance is a little bit more fun, a little has like music and it's got beat and rhythm, so I don't know, it's just more enjoyable and because I like dance. Take a picture, picture, picture. Yeah, Joel. Let's take a so selfie. Oh, One, two. Why don't we three. find out what Whitney thought after tackling Taekwondo dance head on? So I really wanted to try something new in King culture and I'm really thankful that I got to try Taekwondo dance. It was so much better than my expectations, so I just really want to thank Aridong TV and the In and Outs Corner for this opportunity. It was a lot of fun, so thank you guys so much. <laughs> She's such a sweet girl. She's such a good energy job. Too. Right. She went from clumsy to being perfect. Yeah. yeah. I guess practice makes perfect, huh? Absolutely. I think this is a great example of that because all it took were a few hours for her. Mm -hmm. So some people get it at first, others as Young mentioned, <laughs> may take several decades to get several, several, several decades. decades. Centuries. <laughs> Centuries, maybe even as well. But uh, we saw here Whitney, she had a hard time with the basics, and that's what Taekwondo is all about. It's all about getting the basics down pat first before you get into adding dance moves, for instance, and putting mm. a spin on this discipline. So Whitney, uh, luckily, she was very familiar with dance. As you know, mm. it was one of her hobbies, something that she enjoys a lot. So she seemed to pick up pretty quickly mm -hmm. on the basics and as soon as she picked up on the basics the dance part kind of came naturally mm -hmm. i thought mm -hmm. in, in the, you can say in the that yeah. so you basically yeah. have to do, do do one thing right either taekwondo or the dance in order to get it right right but we saw her really breaking a sweat this can be quite an intensive workout Absolutely. It's a workout and it's for people of all ages, for men and women, for children even. Um, they say that Taekwondo is a great uh, way to uh, exercise because it combines a, a variety of elements such as uh, developing speed, mm -hmm. stamina, um, endurance, and also it uh, makes you stretch out your, your muscles. So it's a That's form right. of right. balance. All the that punches well. on all the kicks. Right. Right. Discipline as well, mm -hmm. self-control. There's right. a lot involved here. Mm -hmm. I would like to try it out sometime. Oh, you like should definitely dance. Yeah. 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 I can so, dance. Oh, wow. I think I dance so makes you. it more easier. So can, can we put this together on your bucket list for our ins and out segment? Have would you like to be a guest on this corner? She has to be a foreigner, though. Um, where are some of the places where we can learn Taekwondo or this Taekwondo dance? Yeah, I'm sure many of our uh, viewers may be curious as to where they can uh, obtain this sort of experience. The Namsangol Hanok Village, for starters, from May to November, they offer uh, Taekwondo exhibits three times a day, and this is where uh, visitors can try it for themselves mm -hmm. and they also have boards that you can break so that you can learn you can learn basic moves as a well as reliever. break some boards exactly. Exactly. relieve exactly. some stress also the um, international Kumgang taekwondo center offers classes daily uh similar programs to the namsangol hanok village Whoa. so yes. having a bad day interested. then you go there and break we should go there sometime <laughs> after and the just... show. you've been very stressed out right? <laughs> is I that right so. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw um, the K Tigers. Those guys are getting well known throughout YouTube sure. as well as uh, through other media outlets and SNS. But uh, now, Taekwondo itself, it became really popular in the year 2000 uh, at the Sydney Olympics, but uh, it's the original form of Hallyu. People knew about Taekwondo before they knew about kimchi right. overseas, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Right, people argue and say that uh, Taekwondo is the original Hallyu, yeah. and uh, this is because it's spreading very rapidly. You're right, it's become an Olympic, uh, an Olympic sport in over a decade ago, mm -hmm. and even now, according to the World Taekwondo Federation, we're seeing uh, some 
100 million people worldwide in 206, 100 million 206 countries mm -hmm. who are uh, engaging in this discipline and mm -hmm. gaining more interest. And so this is a rapidly spreading uh, part of Korean culture that we're seeing that's spreading all throughout the world. It's, nice. it's definitely become one of the top 10 martial arts that people talk about when mm -hmm. they're talking that's about martial arts. And putting it together I with agree. popular K-pop music. Oh, that's it'll such make a it, great yes. idea. Yeah, <laughs> it puts a great spin on it, exactly. Even for too. <laughs> right. All right, well, thank you, Mina, for this story. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. All right, that just about does it for this edition of Korea Today. All right, enjoy the rest of your Monday. It's going to be a rainy one, so have an umbrella with you, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.